Hey guys and welcome to another replay. It's a tier 5 game. I'm in my tier 4 destroyer, the Russian destroyer, a gunboat. And the game is about 3 minutes old now, so yeah, action has started. I'm shooting at this uh, battleship that, well, decided to come too close. Uh, he's pretty much alone. And half the team, or more, is shooting at him. So. That's not going to end well, methinks, and he is on very low health. I can't really do much to him because, well, yep, yeah, HE, yeah, low caliber guns doesn't do much damage, but what the hell, I was hoping I could set him on fire, but that's not really going to happen. I have scored a lot of hits, as you can see, but yeah, I think I did a grand total of maybe a thousand, fifteen hundred damage. Oh. And what is that? I just swear. Him I can hurt. And that's looking surprisingly good. If not short. But well. Uh, too much to hope for. That's a cruiser. Can we get him? Let's see. I don't want to go into the middle because you never know. I mean, look at the map. All the enemy ships are coming from pra practically down south. So if I sail in there, I get spotted, they can all shoot at me. So, better play it safe and stay up here. And, well, let's see if we can hit the destroyer this time. Well, I hit the island. That's a good start, I suppose. Well, that guy ate some torpedoes. And he's pumping smoke, but he's sailing way too fast. So he's basically just wasting his smoke. That cruiser is under fire. And that would basically be me if I had sailed in there. I would have gotten up more shots at this guy, but well, the cruisers are going to live long. And I'm doing okay against this destroyer. Eh, didn't get the kill. Oh well. And there's the next one. Not the best angle. 10 kilometers roughly. Uh, not too bad, a bit short. I always go short on the first salvo. Mm. Not that good. Yeah, to go on this steering, which you will probably repair. So that means if we can more or less take something else out, maybe put him on fire, he will burn for quite some time. So, yeah. <coughs> we have taken the northern end of the map. Coming battleship fire, I think. But anyways, we have taken the north of the map. They have the south. And I was looking at the map here and I saw at least two destroyers coming through the gap over there. Our carrier is I telling that up there, which is smart. And uh, there's a cruiser exchanging torpedoes with a destroyer. Not sure who's going to survive that. Let's see if the, the destroyer survived and looks like the our cruiser also survived. So, not too bad. And uh, we are ahead on points. We have killed three of theirs and they've only killed one of ours. So, we are technically winning. And there's a battleship, he's within range, so might as well shoot. Not that I'm expecting to do much, but you never know. Again, got the island. So, let's see. Destroyer, 6 kilometers. That should be doable. Here I was a little bit like, well, someone around the corner there. Uh, yeah, Who should I go for first? So, this guy. I wasn't really sure at this moment, but he's not shooting back, he's not moving, so he's AFK. <laughs> I do need to worry because, well, that's the destroyer I was shooting at before, there's that destroyer down there, and there's a cruiser. So, I have to be cautious here. Also, this guy's not moving. Or shooting. I'm closing in to get some torpedoes off. And now I'm within range, actually, of both of them. 
so aiming a little bit at both actually. But well, took the guy off the guns. Uh, this guy's going in reverse. Who knows? Well, maybe he rather gets shot at by me than the cruiser that is here. Oh well. However, that is not going to end well for him. He disappeared, but he should be there somewhere. And got him in the smoke. Nice. And two to the hits on the cruiser. Okay, okay, guy. So now he's burning and flooding. And yeah, I got him as well. The destroyer launched some torpedoes, but <laughs> they didn't even come close. So now we're winning big time, I would say. They only have six ships left. We still have ten. So it's looking good. Uh, they're being pressured. I just lost one more. Good team, I have to say. Well, those two kills were kind of cheap. They were AFK, but not my fault. They were there. Gotta shoot at them. So, let's see. There is a destroyer there. He is within range, but it's a destroyer. It's, he is far, far away, so I decided not to shoot at him. At least not yet. I want to get a bit closer. I'm not sure where he's going actually. Well, they're actually not going anywhere. He ran into an island. So it would be rude not to shoot at him. The only problem is that I can't get all my guns to disappear. Too close. Oh well. This thing sailing forward can only fire like what? One or two guns? One gun? That's not that good. But well, he's still out there somewhere. Oof, we just actually lost three ships. So that's not good. Oh well. Let's see. That destroyer. Not sure where if he's still there somewhere, but. Oh yeah, there he is. Let's see if we can put him out of his misery. Again, I'm turning my ship here to get more guns. Firing, but I was going to run into the island, so I'll have to turn a bit again. But never mind. Got him. Nicely hit the island. So, battleship time. They now have three battleships left. That guy is on fire. Poor him. And he's not pointing his guns this way, so this is... Come on, we haven't really set that many fires. I have the the tier 4 uh, skill, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, that increases my range. I don't have the extra fire percentage. I would like to, but as of now I don't have it. I'm switching targets because I hope I can kind of sort of ninja kill this guy. He's in very low health, so Not too bad he's behind the island and yeah he died. Not sure who killed him but just turn it on there. He's in a better position than I am. I can only use my guns. That destroyer I'm not sure where it is, but he should be close enough to use yeah Let's see if that battleship decides to turn. Is it going to turn? Is it going to turn? He must be turning soon because destroyers sailing sideways. Oh yeah, he's turning. He's turning. But I'm guessing it's a bit too late. Well, he ate probably two torpedoes. Oh, yeah, could have been worse, I suppose. Turn any later, that would have been worse. Been dead by now. And the dive bomb was gone. So, yeah. But again, uh, he had two choices. Well, three, I suppose. Continue straight ahead, like he more or less did. Turn towards the inner, well, the other destroyer, the one that more or less killed him, or turn towards me and eating my torpedoes, so... 
yeah, he was screwed either way. I don't think he could have done anything differently. <laughs> uh, hitting the brakes, I don't know. Might have bought him enough time to blow Tomeji, I don't know. It's difficult, even loading H. Well, that guy there, my friendly destroyer, he is on low health, so H E getting off a salvo might have been able to take him out. But still, he was pretty much screwed. Now, speaking of screwed, that guy is screwed. He's now alone, <laughs> being capped, uh, sailing towards two destroyers. That's not going to end well. So, well, decided to open up here. Um, the destroyer there, launching torpedoes, but this guy does know how to turn. So, I'm um, guessing those torpedoes are going to. Ooh, and I set him up. Not bad. Yeah, and I, I got four kills. I think I was writing a chat a little bit earlier that I would like a fifth kill, so I can uh, get the crack and, but well, gotta earn it. And uh, if anyone is paying attention, I'm getting a torpedo warning from the client. At the time, I wasn't really sure, like, torpedoes from behind, what? And, uh, well, I took a nasty double hit. He has loaded his HG. So, widespread, because I'm expecting him to turn. And I did hear the torpedo warning, but, yeah. I ate two. Two from the torpedoes. We'll get back to that shortly. And he did not turn, so he's going to eat those. Wow. Okay, so before we get to the results, let's talk about the friendly torpedoes. Well, if you look at the, the map, he's basically, at this moment, directly behind me. And, well, he launched torpedoes some seconds ago, and I was going to my right. So, based on that, his launch, well, I guess somewhat safe, although technically I was somewhat between him and his target. Um, I turned to my left, which means that, well, as you saw, I turned in from his torpedoes. So who's to blame here? I would like to say that he is, but... Nah. I mean, that at the time, I, after he hit me, I actually wrote thanks in chat. I think that just got there before the video stopped, but honestly, it was also my own fault because I mean I got the torpedo warning. I should just have turned the camera around to see where that those torpedoes were coming from, and I could probably have avoided them. But I was very focused on well getting this guy, so I kind of think we both share the the fault for those friendly torpedoes. So I definitely don't blame that guy. But, well, with that out of the way, let's get to the results. Okay, so looking at the results, 173,000 credits, nearly 3,000 uh, credits, uh, sorry, experience. Got the Kraken there with the last kill. Hit 146 times with my gun, that's pretty neat. Five torpedo hits, that's me. And I think that was the battleship there that ate all of them. And, yeah, did roughly speaking 60,000 damage so that's acceptable I would say and looking at the two teams I didn't come in first even with five kills I came close but hey the Murmansk the guy that actually killed me came in first so although he didn't get any kills he definitely had a good game and that must also know that he knows what he's doing he didn't just launch the torpedoes because he could he probably thought that I would continue in the other direction. So, yeah, not too bad. Uh, the other team, not spectacular. <laughs> well, I guess the mention we have to give here is the Clemson <laughs> at the end. <laughs> Three, um, uh, damn it, I forgot the word, uh, experience. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty bad. And also the guy above him, the Kohlberg, 11. So... 
but I'm guessing those were the two that were AFK. I mean, who knows? Maybe they lost connection or someone at the door, angry girlfriend. Who knows? Um, if that's the case, it's not really their fault. But as you see, doesn't look good. But either way. And finally, the damage done. So, of that nearly 60,000, I did roughly half 26,000 with my main batteries, 24,000 with torpedoes, and like 9,000 of uh, what uh, fire and flooding. So, yeah, pretty solid game, I would say. Plus, I took some team damage. So, I got some credits for that. But, anyways, uh, thank you for watching, and until next time, bye bye.